Hello everyone. Sometimes you just gotta pull out the microphone and just fucking record. A lot of times, um, to be honest, when you guys don't see or hear an episode from me, it's because either I'm not consciously in the space of recording or it's because I'm not inspired. But the truth of the matter is, is that I know that I realized today the inspiration is constantly around me. I'm just not pulling from my resources. And I think one of the things is because I'm always trying to be original. I'm always trying to reinvent the wheel. But today I was reminded that I don't need to reinvent the wheel. Because what I'm doing is already reinventing the wheel. I just need to sing it louder from the rooftops so everyone can hear. Um, today I was remi- also reminded that what I do matters. And even though I've quote unquote sung this song a thousand times, I need to sing it a thousand and one time. Because there's always going to be somebody that's just now hearing my voice for the first time. There's always going to be somebody that's just now logging on to exeltribe.com for the very first time. There's always going to be someone that goes to Instagram and discovers my page at XL Tribe on Instagram. There's always going to be someone that discovers the YouTube page or the Facebook page or the LinkedIn page or 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 the Pinterest page or any other social media that I'm on. Um, I'm currently on Clubhouse. There's going to be someone that discovers me there as well. So I really think it's important to get a a, a full length understanding uh, that I need to constantly show up and I need to constantly provide you all with reminders that you have permission to live your fullest expression of your life. Um, you know, 2020 has been a lot and I know that the year is coming to an end and, you know, it's a lot emotionally, physically, mentally for everyone this year, whether you were personally affected by COVID. What I mean by that is like, if your household is someone in your household or you got COVID, either that level of experience or whether you just experience you know some of the outer bands where you might have lost your job or someone in your family lost their job and so you felt it that way or if you're one of the small group of people that experienced an explosion of growth throughout this time depending on whatever your business was already doing you know in some way shape or form we all have been affected by this pandemic And I think a lot of times what happens um, is that I, I'm a photographer and I think my, I see the world as a photographer at all times. So I'm looking at things through a specific lens, but we're going to do a little camera talk here. So like if I'm shooting a subject and I want like the most clean, crisp shot of them heads up like in a portrait style i'll use an 85 millimeter lens one of the plus of that is that i get all the details in their face but one of the minuses about that is i don't get to see the beauty around it and in a way that's how i've been looking at everything in the world through an 85 millimeter lens and forgetting that I need to zoom out sometimes. And so this is what this episode is going to be about. It's about me zooming out, putting into practice uh, things that I need to be more consistent with, and then also um, sharing some things with you guys that I've learned in 2020. Um, I think... If I were to sum up my experience for 2020, I would say it was a beautiful disaster. 2020 allowed me the ability to do something that I've been 
axing for for a while and it was the freedom to sit down without any distraction and get my shit together um you know i have big dreams and i mean really big dreams and i'm gonna need money to accomplish these dreams and i know that i need to push my business further Uh, number one the more visibility that i get for this brand it allows me to do more of the things that i always wanted to do which is change big and tall men's life like that is my ultimate goal and i will not stop until i can get every single big and tall guy on that train um in my living room the other day i declared that xl tribe my ultimate goal for this uh, brand is to become what Vogue is for fashion. I also want that to become fashion for big and tall men. Like I would love for this platform to be something that transcends my life, that lives long and far beyond my lifespan. Um, Something that I could hand down to my children and they can hand down to their children. And I definitely am interested in building that kind of brand. And I think about that all the time like if that's what I want to do then I got to put my pedal to the metal and go and go a little bit faster um so really this is basically a a roundup episode of like everything I've learned this year all of the lessons I've learned all of the good the bad the in between I mean I did a lot of self-discovery this year um this year I took the advice of Sid and um and I went to therapy and so it's been one of the most helpful things of my life actually to go to therapy and learn about things that were triggers for me learn about things that were stopping me from being my best self. Um, I definitely realized this year um, that money was holding me back. Um, I definitely learned that my experiences as a child were holding me back. And one by one, as I started to lift that weight off of me, I started to realize how much more I was flying and soaring um, in terms of like how big I could think. I think up until this year, like I thought of the brand as being like a big brand, but I never, I never had a goal for it. And I think, you know, recently in the last two or three days, I've really decided this brand is going to become the the go-to media brand for men's fashion. Like, I, I would love to be on the level of Vogue. Not I would love. We will be on that level. Um, I will be held in high regards. A- in the same light, the same breath as Anna Wintour. Because I will put in all of the work necessary to make sure that big and tall men are seen in every medium possible that's whatever new medium is there is to come and the ones that exist movies tv shows audio books everything like i want big and tall men to be inserted into everything that's done in life as far as media is concerned and i will work my ass off for that so that's definitely some things that i've proclaimed this year um I got a message earlier today, um, from someone that really reminded me that I'm on the right path. I'm doing what needs to be done. Um, and although I may, I have not reached the level of brand notoriety that I would like, I'm still on the way. And, um, sometimes it's nice to have a little 
hint, a little nudge. You know, you're doing the right thing. You're on the right track. Just keep going. And so in the spirit of keep going, um, in 2020, I'm going to be adding a co-host to the podcast because it's one thing to have these conversations. You know, it's like me and the mic right now. And, but you don't get the best of me when, (sighs) that sounds weird to say, but like, you don't get all of me is the proper way to say it when it's just me. I think you get more of me when I'm able to show more sides of my personality and that really shines when there's another person that I'm having dialogue with. So definitely I want to add a co-host to the show. I also want to add a writer to the website. Um, I need someone that's going to help bring in um, the type of readership that it's going to take to really grow this brand. And I think that's that that's going to be done by creating conscious articles that people are going to want to share for years to come. So creating tons of evergreen content is really what 2021 is going to be about. It's going to be about getting the brand exposed into larger markets. Um, and it's going to be on the ground, grinding it out. Like I just started year five. This is going to be year five and there has to be, in my mind, there has to be a level of growth that shows that I've been doing this for five years. I I know in my mind, it definitely feels like that, but I want it to radiate throughout the hemisphere that XL Tribe is over here working. Um, so those are things that I'm working on for 2021. I'm not waiting for 21 to do those things. I'm starting now, actually. Um, and in lieu of those things, this is going to be the last episode for the year. I'm not doing any more episodes. Definitely want to focus on those goals that I said. So I'm going to spend the rest of the year just strategizing on how to create, um, you know, make these things manifest for me. Uh, I'm also in my personal goals. I would love to add, you know, two more streams of revenue, three more streams of revenue next year. I'll tell you guys all about that when 2021 arrives. I'm already working on them, but you know, they're still a little hush hush, but I'm doing them. Uh, Two of them are directly going to impact this brand, which I'm super excited about. So listen, guys, This is what I'm going to leave you with. Um, I've been watching this series on um, Apple TV called Deer. And the episode that just passed was with Deer, uh, Deer Les, the guy who wrote Hamilton. And he said that every time you create something, you throw rocks into the pebble. I mean, throw rocks into the pond. And you have no idea about the ripple that's going to come back to you once you throw the rocks. So keep that in mind, that what you create is actually not for you. It's for other people. So that's why you can't wait to start on something that's on your heart. He said that he knows when it's time to work on something when it doesn't leave him alone. And he said the idea of Hamilton, like, taps him on the shoulder hundreds of times before he decided to answer the call. I'm sorry, not Hamilton. The His first musical, which was uh, Washington Heights. He said that that tapped him a bunch of times before he decided to listen to the call. And that's how he knows when it's time to do something, when it won't leave you alone. So I would like to leave you all with that sediment. Spend the rest of the year thinking about what's been bugging you all year. Something that's been grinding deep inside of you. Like every time you think about, you know, how to move forward in life, this one idea just keeps coming up every single time, no matter where you go. And it's reinforced by the movies you watch, the people you talk to, the TV shows you watch. It's constantly there as a reminder. Focus 
pay attention to those things. I want you to take the time, take the rest of the year, try to slow things down as much as you can so that you can focus on what your body, your mind, your soul is telling you, what's, what's tapping you, you know, on your shoulder, so to speak, and focus on that. And 2021 should be the most promising year for you ever if you take that piece of advice. So I would like to thank you all for listening to another episode of XL Tribesmen. And next time you hear my voice, you know, there should be somebody else that you listen to too. All right. So take care, fellas. Um, Please take care of yourself. It's the holidays. We're still in a pandemic. Be safe, people. I want every single last one of you to make it to the other side. It looks like we're getting close, and I hope that in 2021, we 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 find a new normal or a, or a sense of normalcy. Um, because I would love to do, you know, bigger things in 2021. So, um, with that being said, you guys take care. Enjoy the new year. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. I think I'm leaving out one other holiday that I can't. That that's like it's right at the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. Uh, I'm sorry who I'm forgetting, but happy holidays. Take care, guys, and see you in 2021.